Let's go yep. to unionists and militant unionists like Thomas oh. Mayo wanting to use the very powerful right of entry rules under the Fair Work Act uh, to wander onto job sites and, and workplaces right around the country to push the yes case. He even told a group of builders that anti-referendum campaigners were, and I quote, those same bastards that hate workers. You're the minister in this area, the shadow minister. What's your response? Well, Peter, this is a completely inappropriate use of right of entry powers. I mean, unions are given, as you and I both know, special privileges under the Fair Work Act. And one of them is to be able to enter workplaces. And, and this is just completely inappropriate. But what I fear more than anything is that it shows that unions are prepared to cross boundaries when it comes to entering people's workplaces. And, Peter, it's a sign of things to come. Because in the next round of Labor's industrial relations changes, guess what? They're actually expanding union right of entry powers. They're making it harder for the Fair Work Commission to actually revoke a right of entry power when it has been misused. But guess what? Mr Burke and Anthony Albanese, a gift to the union movement and delivering to yet another part of the union movement's agenda. Yeah, just on those, uh, the second tranche of reforms, business has been long mute with Labor oh. on a range of issues. Yep. They're, do they're doing Labor's bidding, including on The Voice, but they have found their voice to oppose, in broad terms, uh, this package of so-called reforms. Now, uh, the crossbench are more yep. likely to be Labor's way than not, but it seems like there's a bit of movement. How do you, how do you place the chances of Labor getting this through? Well, we have successfully ensured that the Senate committee, as you know, doesn't report back to the 1st of February. Tony Burke, Anthony Albanese, absolutely furious. They wanted to ram the bills through uh, by the end of the year. I think that between the Coalition and the crossbench, we've put up a reasonable proposal. There are some parts of the bill that we can agree with. Let's take out those parts, put them through this year. I mean, why would you hold up helping first responders suffering from PTSD unless you had a political motive? So we've put a fair compromise on the table, but what do Mr Albanese and Mr Burke say? Our way or the highway. Um, well, guess what? Mm. Uh, we're not going to play that game. And I am very, very glad that we have got that Senate committee to report back next year so we can properly understand the impact, in particular, Peter, on small mm. business that these changes are going to have. All right, just before we go, I, I opened the show with this issue of the ACT. Hard drugs, oh. decriminalisation, oh. possession, not yep. just for cocaine and so-called recreational stuff. We're talking ice, we're talking heroin. Have a look at what's happening into the big US Democrat-run yep. cities. Well, that's coming to Canberra. You're the one, yep. you're the shadow minister who's introduced the bill in the Senate today to yes. take this head on. It'll be debated, I'm told, next month. Uh, tell us more. Uh, well, in but a few weeks' time, the ACT government is rolling out, as you have said, the red carpet to drugs like ice, cocaine, heroin, LSD. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. And they say, Peter, it's for personal use. Let's quickly look at the amounts of these drugs that you can now carry without a criminal penalty. 1.5 grams of cocaine, 1.5 grams of speed, one gram of heroin. Let's put that into perspective, Peter. One gram of heroin is up to five times the average lethal dose. You've got to be kidding me. And the ACT government thinks this is OK. Peter, I'm the Shadow Attorney General. I will not stand by. It would be a dereliction of my duty as a lawmaker if I did not act. This is a bad bill. It will have a bad effect. Australian families will be devastated and we will not stand by and do nothing. But let me tell you, let me tell you, Peter, very quickly what Murray Watts says. We asked him about this in the Senate, totally justified by the ACT, and what is worse, he says this, it is for small amounts for personal use. Well, I say shame on you, Murray Watt, and shame on you, Anthony Albanese, if Labor does not support 
this bill, when it comes before the Senate next time we return, it is a bad bill and it should be repealed, the ACT law. Go hard, Michaela Cashes, I know you will. Thank you for your time.